What is up, NLC Live? Uh, my name is Amir, I'm an intern pastor at the church. Welcome to my crib. Y'all remember NLC Cribs? Not NLC Cribs, MTV Cribs. Even better, we should have NLC Cribs. Okay. Welcome to NLC Live. <laughs> so good to have you guys. Uh, I'm going to be reading Proverbs 3.13 today. Kind of continue talking about wisdom. I have a NIV Bible. It's actually a life application Bible. I call it Bible for Dummies because I've had to learn a lot. Let's read this together. It's a very short verse, but a lot of truth in God's word. Verse 13, Proverbs 3. Blessed is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding. Because it's so short, I just wanted to read real quick in another translation in my Bible app just to kind of gain more understanding of the verse. This is Proverbs 3.13 in the Amplified Version. That's what I picked. It says, Happy, blessed, considered, fortunate, to be admired, is the man who finds skillful and godly wisdom. I love that. And the man who gains understanding and insight, learning from God's word, and life's experiences. So even just sharing like more words to describe how we'd be blessed and that we would gain insight and understanding from God's word, but also life experiences. So a command to obey, not necessarily a command from God, but I think you just see the heart that we would be seeking wisdom and that it's important to him. Um, next, next question, sin to avoid. Not necessarily a sin to avoid either. I do often think when I read verses like, or all verses, but a verse like this says, bless the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding. I think, what would happen if I didn't do this? Like, what would happen if I didn't find wisdom or seek to gain understanding? Sure, it may not be a sin, but I wonder, you know, if, if it would be not what God's best would be for us and for me. Like, would I stop growing? Would I not have any knowledge or wisdom? Um, would I be even ignorant in some ways? And so God blesses the things he wants in us. So, so not so much a sin to avoid, but I think when you think, if I didn't do this, it would really kind of play out God's heart for us. Promise to claim, this is a great one. It says the first word, blessed is the man who finds wisdom. You know, and I looked up that word, I just Googled that word in the Greek, and it means just to, to be joyful, a state of also happiness. It's like God wants to bless us when we find wisdom. I think that's so cool. That's a promise from God. Hey, I want to bless you when you find wisdom, and and for those who gain understanding. So it should be a motivator uh, for us to seek out wisdom from God's word, seek out people. So next question, application to make. Um, I think I just asked myself, you know, am I searching for God's wisdom? Because it says, blessed is the man who finds wisdom. I think it's interesting. The Bible could have used any verb right there. And I, I think, you know, you think of the phrase, you, you find what you're looking for. And I think the Lord wants us to seek out wisdom. So the application to make, I was asking myself like, Man, in my day, in my week, in my month, how am I seeking out wisdom? Of course, from God's word. And like, am I just reading God's word just to read it? Or am I reading to understand, to seek wisdom? And then really, you know, another way to think about it is like people in our lives, uh, people who are wiser than us. Can we seek wisdom from them? And then something new about God, I just thought of, it just reinforced to me how cool it is that God wants us to be growing. He wants us to seek and find wisdom. He wants us to gain understanding. So, I, so to me, it was like I knew this about God, but it just reinforced and even grew the heart of like, man, God wants me growing and he wants me to be wise and, and he wants me to have his word in my heart so I can even, you know, decide between things or know right or wrong or honoring to him or dishonoring or joyful and, and not so joyful. So I love, I think I just, it helped me see the heart of God more that he loves us and wants us to be growing because... Pastor Rick's often taught us that knowledge um, is knowledge and it becomes wisdom when you apply it. And then once you apply it and it becomes wisdom, that's when we really gain understanding. And I think that's God's heart for us. So we're blessed when we find wisdom. Let's seek it out in our everyday lives. When we gain, I think the end result would be we would, be, we would gain that understanding that God wants us happy. He wants us growing. So let me pray for y'all and then we'll go on with our day. Thank you for getting the word with me. God, we love you a lot. We just thank you for your word today. And Lord, we thank you that your heart for us is that we'd be growing and we would have wisdom in our lives. But I thank you, Lord, even the application here is that we would seek it and that when we seek it, your word promises us that you will bless us. So I thank you for that, God. And I just pray that we can rem remember this in our day and life every day. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hey, shout out to at Neil Greyhouse, at Tyler Tarver for NLC Live. Thankful for it. Peace. Peace.